I'm Rebecca Zadibble from ArtMyrtleBeach.com. I'm an artist and instructor here in Myrtle Beach, and I had the privilege of winning Best in Show recently for this painting behind me. There's a secret about this painting, though, that I'd like to share with you and um, use it maybe as a teaching opportunity. This painting was at one point residing in a stack of paintings that I call my boneyard. And it's essentially a stack of paintings that I have run out of ideas on. And I never call a painting a failure. I will more often just consider it something I've run out of ideas for how to solve the problems I've created. We all create problems in our paintings. We all have um, situations that we get into and we don't quite know how to get ourselves out of. When I have that happen, I just stick the painting in my boneyard and then often I'll pull things out and I'll use them as um, the architecture for new pieces. And that's exactly what happened with this piece behind me. There's a simple technique that I used. It's really easy and um, I'd like to show it to you today. So if you'd like to know how I transform this painting into a winner, why don't you watch along with me? This painting used a technique that um, incorporates collage and I want to show you today how to create the collage paper that I used for this piece. First of all, you'll need a glue. This is my favorite glue. This is matte medium by Liquitex. Most manufacturers will make a matte medium and any of them will do. You also could think about using a uh, Mod Podge mat if that's something you have in your materials. Um, and you could also think about using Yes Paste. When I use Yes Paste, I like to use um, a more dilute version of it and um, I'll actually add water to this paste and make sort of a slurry out of it that's the consistency of cream. And so by doing so, um, you can sort of dilute it to the consi consistency of this matte medium. But my favorite is this. It's just easy, and I like easy. Plus, it doesn't have the odor that Mod Podge seems to have. I really don't like the smell of Mod Podge. In addition to those glues, you'll need paper. I recommend that you use art tissue paper. Art tissue paper comes in many colors, and um, what's good about this versus regular gift wrap, or you know, you can use any kind of fine paper really. But um, if you use non-archival paper, you run the risk over the long run of changes occurring in your painting due to the acid content of the paper. So using archival art papers is always a good idea. And if you're a professional artist, it's really your obligation. This is an example of the paper that we'll be um, attempting to recreate. This is very similar to the one that I used in, um, in the painting that I referred to earlier. It was essentially laid over the top of an underpainting. I'm going to show you how to make this paper. I was inspired to make it by this paper here. This is a very commercially available paper and you can see there are fibers embedded in circular patterns into uh, basically oriental washi paper. So I thought, well, if they can do it, why can't I? So I went ahead and took some art tissue paper. I took some string. This is another thing you'll need, string. This particular variety is jute, twisted jute. And this is just plain old, I don't know if it's, maybe it's even kite string from when the kids were little, I don't know. Ribbon could be another possibility that you could think about using and embedding into, really you could embed anything into this. Once I show you how, I'm sure your imagination will go crazy and I encourage you to let it go crazy. That's always a good thing. So I'm just going to position these strings in an interesting pattern on here. If you wanted to make them straight, you could think about taping them and then pulling them tight and I really don't want to take the time to do that. I tend to like organic lines anyway and I'm just going to sort of let this string do something interesting and, and try to come up with some fun patterns. Whenever I do repetitive things, I try to make sure that nothing is matchy-matchy, that there's some interest and variation. 
um, that comes from the lines being either further apart or closer together or um, bent in different ways. Anything you can do to bring variety. Okay, so this is the way we do it. And in order to protect my table, I'm just going to put a piece of paper underneath. As you see, I've got one piece of art tissue with string, and then I've got another piece of art tissue paper over the top of it. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make, essentially, a string sandwich. This paper is very nice and thin, and you can just take an acrylic brush, something cheap, nothing too special, and you can just Instead of being real careful about it, you can really be quite, um, quite loose about it. I like to use freezer paper for my palette. What that allows me to do is actually peel off the acrylic paint and it allows me to come up with some fun collage material that way too. So you may want to try that. But for today, I'm just going to do like so. And then to create my collage paper, I'm just going to paint the surface. And if the string comes through here or there, that's okay. lay this on a piece of plastic to dry it and then I would um, use it when and where it was all fixed together and dry. So I'll show you the finished product here. you enjoyed this video. It's always my hope that a technique that I might be able to show you will help make you successful with your next painting. What we did here today is not hard and maybe it'll give you some new ideas for that painting you've run out of ideas on. I will be posting more blogs here on my YouTube channel so be sure to subscribe and if you like this video feel free to share it with somebody who you feel might like it too. Also I blog on my website artmyrtlebeach.com Art Myrtle Beach is where I sort of keep everyone up to date on not only what I'm doing, but also what other artists who come to Myrtle Beach are doing. I bring in other artists regularly for workshops, and we have a great time learning and studying together. So if that sounds attractive, be sure to subscribe to my blog, artmyrtlebeach.com. I am taking trips to Tuscany here, both in 2015 and 2016, so if you're at all interested in traveling and painting and just having a great time in Tuscany, Join me. You can contact me through my website anytime. ArtMyrtleBeach.com and for today I just I'm gonna sign off and say keep your brushes wet, play around, have a great time painting, and I'll see you next time.